This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Sherlock is among the best TV series ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Andrew Scott played the character Jim Moriarty in the series when he was 34 in 2010. See, at 47, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Dublin, Ireland. Yes, of course it is. What do you want? Say that again! The character was called Priest, you know, yeah. and then it was, these, it, was these, it. it was these filthy people that did it. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Cunz played the character Sir Edwin in the series when he was 52 in 2014. See, at 61, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in London, UK. See? What's going on? I'm very sorry, Lady Smallwood. Your security protocols have been temporarily rescinded. Film works as well now, but originally, you know, you start in the theatre. I mean, some kids these days, I think, you know, they pretty much go straight into screen acting. Without a theatrical background, but I... Yuna Stubbs played the character Mrs. Hudson in the series when she was 73 in 2010. Sadly, on August 12, 2021, she left her some natural causes at 84 in Edinburgh, Scotland, were deeply saddened by passing. Home office. Home office? Well, home secretary, actually. Owes me a favour. You're a pretty girl, but she messed about with herself too much. They all do these days. People can hardly... Screen, we used to laugh a lot. And sometimes the boys were really rude in a funny sort of way, but we had a good time. Got on. Vinette Robinson played the character Surgeon Sally Donovan in the series when she was 29 in 2010. See, at the age of 42, she's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in West Yorkshire, England. This is a good day. Not for the Waters family. Okay, 10 men on the roof, all exits covered. The bank's closed, so we've no hostages to worry about. I'm proud of the film, that the film's been recognised at these awards in the way it has and that people have responded to it the way it has. That's what I'm most proud of. Yeah, it's a film that's quite brave in terms of its con... con Benedict Cumberbatch played the character Sherlock Holmes in the series when he was 34 years old in 2010. See, at the age of 47, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in London, England. Preston Gardens. He could only keep her case by accident if it was in a car. Nobody could be seen with this case without drawing attention to themselves, particularly a man, which is statistically more likely. So obviously, if you're... Yeah. You know, I think it goes so quickly. You kind of watch the tape the next day going, was it any good? You have no idea. It's, you're at the coalface at 11.30 at night. You know, that's even for state. Louise Brearley played the character Molly Hooper in the series when she was 31 in 2010. See, at the age of 44, she's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Northamptonshire, England. I can do anything you need, anything at all. You can have me. No, I just mean, I mean, if there's anything you need. Um, this incarnation and, you know, the script was excellent and it's not always excellent. You know, you read a lot of shit. Margaret Teese played the character Mycroft Holmes in the series when he was 44 years old in 2010. See, at 57 years old, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in County Durham, England. Most of the diplomatic service and half the government front bench all sharing one tea trolley. It's for the best, believe me. We don't want a repeat of 1972. Sexy to a baggy suit and umbrella. Baggy? Swagger. Baggy? Martin Freeman played the character Dr. John Watson in the series when he was 39 in 2010. See, at 52, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Hampshire, England. Mm, yes. Bit of trouble too, I bet. Of course, yes. Enough for a lifetime, far too much. Want to see some more? <laughs> Tell me again. <laughs> I'm so, sad, I'm so delighted Freeman. you brought that up again because it's, it's been was... about four seconds since I've heard you say something about talking. I was. 
Robert Graves played the character D.I. Lestrade in the series. When he was 47 in 2010, see at 60 years old, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Somerset, England. I know that you like writing about these, but these do appear to be suicides. We know the difference. The, um, the poison was clearly self-administered. Yes, but if they are... Seriously. Um, which they do, and, they, and that, that tests then the group of lads. And what did you, how did you prepare for this kind of role? I, uh, I, uh... Tanya Moody played the character Ella in the series when she was 38 in 2010. See, at the age of 51, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Canada. The whole world has come crashing down around you. Everything's hopeless. Wear up my actual clothes. <laughs> like, I haven't not been in pajamas in the last five months. Um, so, yeah, and then I was like a little puppy dog going to meet him. Jonathan Ayres played the character Anderson in the series when he was 39 in 2010. See, at the age of 53, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in London, UK. Two years in the theories keep getting more stupid. How many more you got for me today? Well, you know, the paving slabs in that whole area, even the exact ones that he landed on, you know, they were all... ...greens largely with the, the incredible cast who I've watched and loved through the first two seasons. I didn't really get to spend any time with them face to face. Um, so it was technically challenging, but huge... Wanda Ventham played the character Mrs. Holmes in the series when she was 79 in 2014. See, at the age of 88, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Sussex, England. Bring your friends round. Stop it, you. Somebody's put a bullet in my boy, and if I ever find out who, I shall turn absolutely monstrous. Ah. Zoe Telford played the character Sarah in the series when she was 37 in 2010. See, at 50 years old, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Norfolk, England. You've got you to study if you definitely now. stay. He's kidding. Please stay if you'd like. Is it just me, or is anyone else starving? Oh, God. Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in Sherlock? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much, and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.